I can remember as a kid growing up listening to uh, Toots Minville and um, uh, Uncle Louis Kahanamoku talking about wanting this sport to become an Olympic sport. And there are groups that have been trying for a long, long time to allow that to happen. And we keep running up against uh, larger groups that are trying for other events to become Olympic sports. And of course, it is political. You have to have 15 nations participating in it. Uh, through their own Olympic committees, etc., and it's just really hard to do. And we're still growing in that angle, that that arena, but we need to grow harder and faster. The leaps and bounds that have haven't happened rather in the last couple of years have just been tremendous. But uh, it takes a lot more infusion of money and and of course uh, bigger support. You know, uh, we're up against uh, an event called Dragon Boat Racing, which almost got admitted this year. However, they're a straight line course. They don't have the dynamics like you have out here of. Uh, multicolored flags and lanes and turns and everything else and when it was presented to the uh, International Olympic Committee in 82 that's what they liked about it and uh, they were all for it however dragon boats are supported by uh, Singapore and the Singapore Airlines so they're flying people all over the world to participate that's what we're up against we don't see any major airlines in the United States running for it to try and help this event out so as a result it's painstaking work and a lot of growth potential and uh, hopefully someday it'll get better. Uh, but until now and then, the hope is that the next generation, the generation that's on the water, will be able to carry it to the level it's in. You know, Hawaii has brought the world hula, Hawaiian music, surfing, and canoe paddling. And a lot of people have yet to realize that. So if we can get that uh, event to that level, then we have gone full circle in our cultural identity. And I think that's very, very extremely important.